Here at the School of Dentistry, we are using three different articulator systems. Well, primarily two, but I'm going to show you a third because I use it in the faculty practice quite a bit, and that's the WIPMIC system. The first is the Panadent system, and uh, then over here is the Denar uh, system of face bow. It's basically it's a slide-o-matic face bow is what it's called, rather than being like scissors that open and close, it slides. And then the whip mix is this one here. Uh, they're all good. They all basically are, uh, they do the same thing. They're a variation on a theme. And we're going to show you now how you could make a face bow record utilizing each one of these systems in a very uh, efficient way. first thing you want to do uh, when you're taking a face bow is you want the patient in a comfortable height for you in the chair. So I'm fairly tall. I'm going to have November up here where it's comfortable, comfortable for me to work and that I don't have a moving target with her head too because patients will be very helpful. I'll try to turn towards you and help you and it really helps if their head is, is stationary. So go ahead and put your head right against the back there. Very good. So she's in a comfortable position. We're going to start with the Panadent system. And so these bite tabs have been affixed to each of the different bite forks. They all work basically the same. And I'm gonna warm up our compound bite tabs in this hot water. Okay. And then I'm going to grab four cotton rolls. November, I'm going to give two of these cotton rolls to you to hold in your left hand. So right over there, grab onto those, very good. I'm going to hold the two on the right. Now the idea here, these are going, these, these are softened now, and we're going to set those against your top teeth. As we do that, I'm going to put these two cotton rolls on the right as you put those two on the left so that when you close, it'll support this against the top teeth, okay? okay. So head against the back. Get your bite for position where you want it, and then go ahead and place your cotton rolls and then close for me. Very good. Excellent. And just hold it right there. So the next step is to grab your face bow. And make sure that you have this uh, suborbital pointer tightened down. Uh, if that's loose and swinging, that can be an eye poker. We don't want to do that. We'll use the nasion locator to get the face bow at the right level. So we do have to take November's glasses off because of that. So November, what we're going to do, I'm going to get around in front of you here. These two white knobs go just inside each ear. And so I'm gonna have you direct those into your ears as I put that peg right there through this hole. Okay. So go ahead and grab on, we'll do it all together. So one of the things you want to make sure of with the Panadent system is this A right here corresponds with that A on the end of this little pole. So you don't want to put the opposite end in. You want to get A in A and then tighten that set screw right there so that it tightens it in. And so when you're done, it looks like that. Okay. Now we are ready. Uh, again, make sure that this is snug so that this doesn't rotate and poke, poke an eye. We don't use that, that's a suborbital locator. We use the nasion locator instead. We do need this extra tool with the Panadent. So um, again, November, these two little white knobs go just inside each ear. And as you insert those into your ears, I'm going to put this peg right there through that hole. So go ahead and grab on. We'll do this together. Very good. Now, once you've found both ears, equal pressure, both sides, pull forward slightly. 
Once the patient's done that, then tighten the bow right there. And now we're going to set the vertical with Nasion right here. And that's going to go, we're going to drop it just a little, go right there. We'll snug that down. And now the transfer assembly down below is ready to snug. And so in the beginning, you do just that. Don't tighten it, just snug both set screws like that. Then stabilize the bow and warn the patient. We're going to tighten it now, so hang on. And you do need to tighten them or they'll slip on you when you go to mount. That's your face bow. So we'll take Nasion out of the way now. We'll loosen the bow and then instruct the patient to open. And we'll grab our cotton rolls. And that's basically the face bow with the Panadent system. Now really all you need is... This part right here, this is then what is used to mount to the articulator. And the bow can be set aside. So now we'll move on to the Whitmix system. So we'll heat up our bike tabs. And we'll get four more cotton rolls. The instructions are basically the same, so November, I'm going to give these two to you in your left hand, and I'll use these two in the right. And head against the back, look right straight forward, perfect. We'll get this into place. Now cotton rolls in, go ahead and bite together. Very good, hold real still. The nice thing about both the Whitmix and the Dinar system is you don't need an extra tool. These are all finger screws. But the idea is the same. Here's our Nasion locator. So November, once again, these two little knobs get directed into your ears as we put that over that little peg. So equal pressure, both sides. Pull forward slightly. Tighten the bow. And we'll set Nasion. Hold it so it doesn't slide in Hit him in the forehead. There we go. And now, we'll snug these finger screws like that. Again, they're just snug. And now we'll instruct the patient, we're going to hold on to this so we don't torque your head too much. And you want to really snug them down so they don't slip on you. Take Nasion, retract it, loosen your bow. Now go ahead and open and everything comes out. Perfect. So again, that's the Whitmix system. You unhook the transfer assembly just like with very similar to the Panadent system. And then this is what's used to mount to your Whitmix articulator. Now our final system is the Dinar. So each bite fork is just a little bit different. You have to make sure you get the, the, the bite fork coming off the correct side. With both Dinar and Panadent, the, the little post or peg is on the patient's right side. So... With Whitmix, it's right in the center. So here's here's the Dinar bite fork, and we'll go ahead and heat up these compound tabs now. Hold on to those so we can just keep using those. Okay. November, here's two more cotton rolls. And we'll insert our bite fork and go ahead and close. Excellent. So by having four of those compound tabs, it's pretty stable. The two in the front are near the canines, the two in the back are near the second molars. 
And now with the Slidermatic face bow, it's the same idea. Now, there's no Nasion locator. These do have a suborbital pointer, but you don't need to use it because that suborbital point is right at the base of the orbit. And that's the level you're going to put your face bow, and you can do that by eye. So go ahead, and we'll do the same thing that we've done on these others. With the, with the uh, Dinar system, 21 will be facing you, the 2 ones. So it's not 12, it's 21. If, if you see 12, you've got it backwards. So it's 21. And go ahead now and go right to your ears. Very good. Okay. Equal pressure, both sides. Pull forward slightly. And I'm now going to tighten the bow right there. And then to set the height, I'm going to put this bow at about the level of the orbit, which it is right now. That's, that's a, good, a good vertical. So now it's just a matter of snugging these two. This one doesn't have a set screw right there. Okay, so we've got our set screw replaced. The vertical is just right. We snug down this one. We want to snug this one. And then to tighten them, again, steady the bow, tighten, tighten, like that. Now loosen this part. Instruct the patient to open. And now you have the face bow transfer for a denar. And that's the part you'll use to mount to the articulator.